So today is Murli 31st, 12, 2011. If you might have read the main statement, Baba highlights the four things, and that is what the entire Murli is all about. So the four things are in the new year with the blessings. May you be an intense effort maker. Tivir Prusharthi. So let us take that blessing from Baba right from the beginning. Second thing Baba mentions, show the angelic form through your face. Third thing Baba mentions, with the volcanic yoke, through the form of light and might, burn the waste. And fourth thing Baba mentions, donate power to the unhappy and peaceless soul. So, first Baba mentions about the intense effort maker and the yoga thing also Baba mentions to the volcanic yoga to become light and might. And the seva aspect Baba mentions that through the angelic form, let the angelic form should reveal through your face. And also Baba mentions donate powers to unhappy and peaceless soul. So two aspects of seva, one aspect of yoga. And dharana, our mentions intense effort maker. So everything is there in the title itself. So even if I take title as a takeaway today, lot of things to churn. So let us start the Murli. Today, the creator of the Brahmin family is seeing his family everywhere. It is a small family, a small world, but very lovely because it is of those who are a handful out of multimillionaires. Koto me se koi, koi me se bhi koi. We are those little small family, small world which Baba mentions. Why are they lovely? Because they have recognized the father. Very important. This statement has very deep meaning. All of us, why are we together in this morning club, or for that matter, attached to BKs? It is only because we have recognized the father. That itself is very important thing if we wish to continue here. You have claimed a right to the father's inheritance. Just as the father is lovely, so this Brahmin family is lovely too. Bab Dada has made the star of fortune sparkle on your foreheads from your birth. And this is why this small world is extremely lovely. All of you know this self-respect of yours. Do you not? This is something which we can always remind ourselves that Baba has given us this fortune right since our birth of Brahmin. So this is this makes us extremely lovely. So this self-respect Baba asks us to remember. Bab Dada is pleased to see each child and what song does he sing? Va children va. Today all of you have come to meet the father on this great day. Today is the day of the conference. It is the day of farewell and also of greetings. So as of as all of us know that this Murli is on the last day of 2011 and they were moving into 2012. So that is why Baba mentions. Today is the day of the conference. It is a day of farewell and also of greetings. In any case, there is importance of a conference. Wherever there is a conference of an ocean and a river, it is of great importance. So, the importance of today is praiseworthy. The old year is to finish and the new year is to begin. On this day, each one of you has so much enthusiasm in your heart for the coming year. Each one of you has made a plan in your heart of what you have to 
renounce and what you have to become kya chhodna hai aur kya banna hai this is what each one of us definitely make some affirmation at the time of new year have you become have you made both plans have you those who have made a plan for the self to move forward and to make intense effort is in the coming year raise your hands have you made a plan congratulations everyone knows what papada wants from for each child papada has the pure wish for each child every child should become complete and perfect the same as the father now even time is cooperating with you each one of you has made a new plan in your own mind for yourself have you not you have to renounce something and you have to move forward a little so what are you going to renounce bada the has seen that in terms of renouncing the old world and relationships all of you pay attention to making effort for this this is one thing that you all wish to renounce but until now bab dada has seen that it makes you a little effort to renounce the old sanskars so what baba mentions it's very easy for us to renounce the old world relationships most of us might have already done that but when it comes to sanskar it is requiring a little effort bab dada wants each of you children to celebrate your own old sanskars in the new year antim sanskar all of you also want to fulfill this thought do you not it is the old sanskars that you refer to as your nature it is the old sanskars that you refer to as your nature this is not my intention but it is my nature so it is not the nature of the this brahman birth but it is an old nature on this day celebrate that old sanskar each one of you knows yourself so to it together with bidding farewell to the year you can have the determined thought to renounce that sanskar can you do that hmm? so let us not read this smoothly like this was read a while ago at the time of celebrating new year and baba asking those children to leave new sanskars uh, to leave old sanskars in the context applies even today so if baba is asking any question let us ask ourselves and what is baba asking us can you have the determined thought to renounce that sanskars can you do that you want to you do want it it is not that you don't want it but it is that some sanskar that repeatedly creates obstacles in different ways in your putting intensely into your efforts is your putting intensity intensity into your efforts so bab dada wants that together with your bidding farewell to the year on this day also bid farewell to that sanskar are you ready for that those who are ready for it raise your hands what will you do for that have you thought of a plan for yourself hmm? baba is very specific so all of us definitely wants to get rid of our old sanskars but baba then further says how do you plan to do it hmm? so later during the sharing sharings we can also share that if you are getting planning to get rid of any sanskars how would you do that 
any plan, probably it will help all of us in the group. The best thing for that is a determined thought. You have the thought that is that it should happen, but there has but there has to be that intensity force in your thoughts. So Baba is again referring determined thought, intensity in thoughts, force in thoughts. That is what it will make us actually get rid of whatever sanskars we want to work on. As soon as you become a Brahmin, you promise that you are not going to take any impure food. Babada saw that through your determined thoughts, the majority of you have passed in this. Just as you have had the thought of not taking impure food for your body, and you are doing that practically. In the same way, you have to have this determined thought for your mind. You will never have any waste thoughts for anyone or anything under any circumstances and that you definitely must have constant good wishes and pure feelings for every soul. Baba gives us a very simple example of the food which the physical food which we actually don't consume any food outside. We, After becoming Brahman, I believe most of us in this group also must be consuming the food made by a yogi or made by ourselves. So when Baba says, when you pass in that, why can't you make a determined thought for your mind that I will never have any waste thoughts for anyone or anything under any circumstances and that I definitely must have constant good wishes and pure feelings for every soul. Hmm? Actually, if you see, it's very easy to do physical things to get rid of things. But when it comes to this at a thought level, Baba mentions that we need to have similar determined thought. Thoughts are food for the mind. And so, just as the majority of you have had the determined thought concerning the body, in the same way, can you not erase waste thoughts and impure feelings? In your mind, can you not have the love and cooperation for every soul in your heart? <laughs> Baba just asks us that how easy it would be that just, uh, you know, like, just you do this for the physical things, why can't you do for mind? Practically, each one of us know like uh, what kind of attention we need for that. But again, when Baba is mentioning this in the movie, it is possible, right? And we see our seniors doing that. So definitely, there is a deep meaning or insight if we really plan to make this Mahavakya of Baba into practice. So two things is asking. Majority of you have had the determined thought concerning your body in the same way. Can you not erase waste thoughts and impure feelings? Is just asking us to just erase all the waste thoughts and impure feelings. And what next needs to be done? In your mind, can you not have love and cooperation for every soul? Every soul in your heart. So today, together with this old year, Bapada wants every child to bid farewell to the old attitude and vision. Can you have this determined thought? Old attitude and vision. He wants us to. So earlier he mentioned waste thoughts, impure feelings, and now he mentions old attitude and vision. Can you have this determined thought? Can you speak? Mothers, teachers, and all the brothers still want this. Yes, raise your hands from tomorrow. If you have any waste, wasteful feelings or wasteful intentions for any soul, you want to celebrate the 
completion ceremony today? Do you not? Speak. Are all the teachers ready? Teachers, raise both your hands. Raise them. Achha. Those who haven't raised your hands, raise your hands. Those of you who haven't raised your hands, stand up. It is good. Those who will make effort but will not have determined thoughts, are there any such ones? Those who have stood up, raise your hands. If you will keep the aim and make effort. Hmm? Baba is very smart. He's taking all the evidences of us raising our hands. So that later we can't say that Baba never told us so, uh, told us about this. Hmm? And he's asking again and again so that we are conscious and we know that we have agreed with Baba that we would be doing these things. So keeping attention on the time, just think, as at this time of the conference age, you all have to attain success over a long period of, for the future. You have to claim the inheritance for 21 births. So, there is a vast difference between this one birth and 21 births. Even in, the, even in this one birth, you would have to make an intense effort for a long time. For only then would you attain the attainment over a long period of time. So, in order to claim inheritance for 21 births, in one birth, again, the ratio of 1 is to 21 is very less. 1 is very less. But even that one birth, Baba mentions, you would have to make intense effort for a long time. For only then you would be able to attain the attainment over a long period of time. So, just after reading this smoothly, if I have attention on the waste thoughts for today and I am success in that, that will not help. I will have to probably sustain that effort, sustain that uh, impact of not having waste thoughts for a longer period of time. You have love for the father and so you want to stay with him. Do you not? You want to stay close to him. Do you not? You want to be Father Brahman's companions and claim a right to the kingdom. Do you not? Therefore, even now, you have to be equal to the Father for the length, for that length of time. You already all know how much love Father Brahma has for every child. Each one says, my Baba. Baba doesn't have as much love for anyone else as he does for me. He loves me. So, you are experiencing the love of both Bap and Dada in this birth. And you can never say no to the one whom you love. So all of you have love for Father Brahma. How much love do you have? You have a lot of love. Perhaps you may not be able to show it. But the father knows that all the children have love for him. It is number wise. But Babada still gives everyone a certificate for every child loves him. You have love for him. But the father has seen that you sometimes become mischievous. So Baba, it's technique of Baba that first Baba flatters us that we all have love and then he slowly comes on to the main point that we sometimes become mischievous. So what does the father do at that time? Seeing all that, seeing all of that father continues to give special powers because he wants every child of his to be a king child. Hmm. Baba never gives up. He, he knows that we place mischief, but still he continues to give special powers because he wants that we be the king child, Raja Bacha. In the world, 
and specially beloved child would be called a raja bachcha royal king child he is not a king but he is called a king hmm? in hindi specially mothers refer their kids as raja bachcha the kid may not be the king of the palace or of any kingdom but still the mother refers as raja bachcha now all of you are now king children of papa da and in the future too so baba mentions when he says raja bachcha he really means your king at present and also in the future you will be the king child at present you have self respect and self sovereignty now the soul is ruling over the physical senses so at present you are the masters of the self and you will be those who have a right to the kingdom in the future so you are the king children and you know are you not not if you are so today at amrit vela bab dada went on a tour everywhere in this land and the lands abroad what did he see the majority of you sit for yoga at amrit vela you sit with love you have a conversation with bab dada you sit in the awareness of soul consciousness you even take the powers from him however bab dada wants that there to be newness in the coming new year because day by day time is now going to become more and more delicate at such a time you need to have volcanic yoga so what is the normal yoga pattern which baba sees that we do it amrit vela hmm? we sit in the awareness of soul consciousness we even take powers from baba and we even have con- conversation with baba this three aspects he mentions of the current amrit vela yoga but now he wants us to make that yoga a volcanic yoga what is volcanic yoga we can discuss this at the time of journey what does volcanic yoga means to each one of us but what baba mentions in the murli is volcanic yoga means to be in a powerful form of light and might because according to the time sorrow peacefulness and upheaval are now going to increase this is why you now have the need to give powers to the unhappy and disturbed souls through special volcanic yoga in return of their sorrow and peaceful peacelessness you have to give them some powers and peace to the service of the mind you have kept the topic for the present time one family now since there is one family accordingly you will have to give a drop of something to others to peaceless or peaceless souls therefore bab dada is now drawing your attention to the need of volcanic yoga especially for the coming new year that now there is a need for volcanic yoga it is only through volcanic yoga that the remaining sanskars will be burnt it is only through volcanic yoga that the remaining sanskars will be burnt hmm? very important statement now your companions of the advance party want each one of you to bring time and time and the time of completion in front of everyone now remember the return journey your didi that is didi manmohini is written, is reminding you i always used to remember we now have to go home we have to go home hmm? she also always told ab ghar jana hai ab ghar jana hai your dadi is reminding you i always remember that we all have to become complete and perfect 
संपन्न और संपूर्ण हम सभी को बनना है आई ऑलवेज हैव दिस डीप कंसर्न सो टूडे स्पेशली एट अमृत वेला वाइल सेलिब्रेटिंग मीटिंग विद बाप दादा दे वर सींग नाउ ऑन बी ऑफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ एस ऑल द दादीज हु हैव गॉन आर ऑल स्टेइंग आर ऑल सींग टूगेदर देर इज नाउ अ ग्रेट नीड फॉर वॉलकैनिक योगा whether to give peace to others or to make the brahman family complete now you now you are now the instruments to bring the time close so what will you do in the coming year what will you do specially together with being loving and cooperative with one another as well as every center will create the vibrations of volcanic yoga together with being loving and cooperative with one another as well as keeping attention on each one while performing actions you will give cooperation for whatever weaknesses still remain serve many souls many other souls through your mind and especially serve your brahman companions with your cooperation only then will the desire of our hearts be fulfilled also baba is specially referring to giving cooperation to the brahman companions sometimes we do help others which are not brahman but we don't really cooperate with brahman souls so baba is highlighting that as well only then will the desire of our hearts be fulfilled so today from the subtle region the advance party are reminding you all reminding you and also telling you about the expectations in their hearts for the coming year so speak you already heard bab dadas thought also together with that you also heard the pure feelings of your dadis for the coming year did you not bab dada gives three types of congratulations to all the children whether they are weak or whether they are intense effort makers first one congratulations for a new world new life congratulations for the new year and congratulations for returning to the new world as a companion so naya jeevan naya varsh aur naye yug mein jaane ke liye so new life new year and new world of as a companion bab dada also said each one of you should fix a time for yourself by when will i make myself equal to the father hmm? very nice homework we can do this why not so let us fix a time for ourselves because until unless we don't have a goal it is very difficult to plan towards the goal so we can plan maybe a given point of time now tomorrow again we have yeah for tomorrow mama day coming so we can again revise this plan by when will i become myself equal to the father fix this inside you for yourself you know how to fix this do you not today seeing every child bab dada is giving the blessings in the next year may each child be an intense effort maker at amrit vela when you sit down for remembrance and when it is time for you to get up remember these blessings in your heart from bab dada may you be an intense effort maker hmm? so baba is asking us when to remember these blessings hmm? let me remember let me repeat that at amrit vela when you sit down for remembrance and when it is time for you to get up hmm? both times at the time we sit down and at the time we are getting up baba is asking us to asking us to remember this blessing that may you be an intense effort maker bab dada drew your attention to two things in the beginning because the time of the conference age is going to finish suddenly time of conference age is going to finish suddenly first time and second thoughts 
pay attention to both of these at every moment these are the pure feelings that papada has for each every child in this year what should each child become what will you become whoever looks at your face they should see from your face the angelic form not that i am so and so so and so they should experience you as an angel so this so for this you have to have volcanic yoga not any waste so i think it's around 6 we have a couple of paragraphs remaining i'll just read it out because it's not much uh through your light and might form of yoga burn the waste whosoever they look at they should only be able to see on, only a powerful angel because you are the long lost and now found children of the father are you not the father has specially selected you from so many different places and made you belong to him therefore keep the aim i am a brahmin who is going to become an angel so at amrit villa remember this in your time table baba gives us another thing to remember what should we do at amrit villa i am an a brahmin and so an angel a brahman so farishta ho as you move along be in your angelic form not only amrit villa but after amrit villa also as we move on be in the angelic form you are the angelic form do you not you sorry you like the angelic form do you not father brahma become an angel so follow the father you were given the blessings for this year an intense effort maker not an ordinary effort maker if you make ordinary effort you will not become a companion in the kingdom the father's desire is however many children there are who are studying in the murli however mainly godly students there are what will all of them become angels all burdens will be removed the burden of any sanskars will finish so what was the homework for this year it was stay in an angelic form this is known as intense effort now every center should look at the result of every student every week and see were they intense effort makers if any situation arises be cooperative and give courage with love and make that center and the students intense effort maker look at the result every week because time will definitely fluctuate so today on the day of the conference on the day of the farewell and greetings to all the children everywhere wherever you may be sitting children bab dada is seeing how all of you are seeing everything through the facilities of science and you have become so pleased bab dada is giving a special blessing to all the children everywhere may you be an constant jewel of contentment remain content and make others content what is baba mentions may you be a constant jewel baba loves his word constant jewel of the contentment remain contented remain content and make others content acha so the remaining part we can continue tomorrow let us sit in silence for a minute and reflect from today's murli
so let us share what is the one takeaway which you will imbibe from today's murli om shanti om shanti uh, good morning uh, very beautiful murli um, uh, my takeaway point from is where baba said my baba said that uh to erase waste thoughts and impure feelings and um to give love and cooperation to every soul not a soul of your choice or the one who like you need to give love and cooperation to each and every soul om shanti wonderful i also want to uh, bid farewell to my old attitudes and old visions and new new uh, burn old samskaras and have new samskaras and how will you do that uh, 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 in uh, last week i told us to by by taking uh, by thursday become an embodiment of it take up some swaman become an embodiment of it keep a target for example thursday become an embodiment of it and by sunday be very happy little by little we need to practice week by week or day by day om shanti anyone else would like to add on what does it mean to be an intense effort maker all of us are making effort right to become perfect equal to father so when baba mentions of course baba is also defined intense effort maker in the murli but how do we perceive it so let me share something uh, one way of uh, doing effort is that um, you know i have this weak sanskar i need to work on it and i will be working on it but what baba mentions today is just telling that i need to work on it is not enough intense effort making would require a determined thought a force in that thought because until unless we are not determined we are not forced things won't work out it might work out but it will take time just like if a person who is uh, addicted to smoking or you know having uh, some bad habits if it is that i will be getting rid of smoke some day he tries on it works on it but it will be very difficult but if he has a determined thought on that day itself he can get rid of smoking bab also gave us the example of we not consuming food outside uh we didn't gradually probably might have stopped but one thought we might have made that no we need to follow this stream of baba and i don't know for you all but for me it really worked i didn't have to actually think a lot on that or uh, had to do a lot of compromise it simply worked out so if i want i need to get rid of my old sanskars hmm? baba mentions to have that kind of determined thought of course we might need to make a plan we might need to do checking but at the end of the day until unless we don't have a determined thought we might not be able to get away from that old sanskars very easily so this is one aspect of intense effort maker what else do you all think should be added here om shanti prabhu bhai 
just to uh, add on to your point for the last three days murli uh, baba has uh, given three points of intense effort maker as far as i uh, could recall so the murli of 30th uh, november so baba said there that intense effort making means just to finish the work sometimes that i say that sometimes my mood was very elevated and sometimes i was feeling very low uh, sometimes uh, this thing came so my mood got uh spoil whatever i was not in tune with baba whatever it is so baba said now the word sometime should be finished and carelessness should not be come in between we should have to pay complete attention to our stage and our state second uh, yesterday smriti baba says that intense effort making means putting full stop whatever is happening however it is according to the drama plan that is accurate so when we have this nishchay when we have this faith that everything is happening for making myself the bet- better version of myself so that nishchay will help us not to get diverted or not to get um, you know restless or peaceless about anything about anybody about any situation and uh, today's point i believe you have already mentioned the determined thought is a foundation of everything so that is all i believe uh, if somebody can add more points on intense effort making thank you om shanti adding on to what rashmi reshmi ban you just mentioned In yesterday's Murli Baba mentioned about also checking on your time and thoughts. So, um, as Prafulla Bhai mentioned, determine thoughts, and you did mention about the managing time. For me, intense effort maker. One way to look at it is seeing that every moment, that's every time and thought that I'm generating. Um, is free from waste so checking on samay and sankalp and making it successful is one way to be an intense effort maker om shanti wonderful so i even like the uh, point on carelessness which is to mention that sometimes we do we are we do take intense i mean we are determined but just we forget those thoughts or we miss out on some things so that is why baba also tells us to remember these blessings at least two times he mentioned today at amrit vela but we can plan to remember it quite frequently you know, just like we have a mobile alarms we can set timer or something for ourselves which reminds us that who we are and what we need to do otherwise it will just become a otherwise we'll just lose the track of intense effort making because as soon as we remember like now if we read this morally today and after reading this morally we feel so elevated that you now today i need to do so and so but just an hour later when we come into our routines we might lose a track so there should be some way we remind ourselves throughout the day that this is something which i have thought to work on where is my progress you know just like we have progress meetings in offices to track what is being done and check how the things are working so we might need to have those meetings with ourselves which i think we might be doing traffic control most of us but yeah the more we increase the intensity of checking the more the chances of changes are any other point anybody would like to mention from today's module
Om Shanti. Baba has also told that uh, we need to remember that we are intense effort makers while uh, just sitting for the Amrit Vela and as soon as we uh, get up from Amrit Vela. And uh, people should also know that, um, people should know our powerful angelic form. Yeah. So angelic form should be revealed through our face. So that anybody seeing us, they just don't see us as a physical thing, us as an angelic body. So what is it that I need to be, I need to do if I want to make myself look angel or be angel, not only for others, but also for myself. We need to become, uh, be a constant uh, jewel of contentment, right? Yes, jewel of contentment. And again, that will be revealed from our face. Because face yes. is the index. And uh, if we are content, automatically our face will be, will have smile on the face. We will look satisfied. There won't be any questions. There won't be any signals for others to think that this person is stressed or this person is so maybe we can do one activity of us taking a cell phone a selfie not a physical selfie but we, we probably need some props for us to remind so as soon as we take the phone in front of us which we might do throughout the day many times maybe to check our messages or maybe so before unlocking a phone, just visualize that, okay, my phone, I'm taking my selfie. How is my face at the moment? How is my sthiti? Am I content? Am I an angel? And then as an angel, unlock your phone and do the stuff. So we can remind ourselves even before unlocking the phone. And that moment, at the time you unlock, just check yourself. Just imagine that this phone is the mirror, a phone is a camera where your face is being recorded and at that point of time, how is my city? Am I an angel? And then unlock the phone. So let us do this at least five times today, a new exercise. And uh, probably this will um, give us attention also of where we are and I mean, what needs to work on in order to make our form as easy. So is it okay if we take this homework for today? Everyone? Yes, brother. Okay. I think all others, can you all raise your hand? I see that none of, most of the people are not speaking here. Sugna, Sonia, Arora, Shivani Sharma, Madhu, iPhone, Inder. Anyways, I think, yeah, I think let's do a silent meditation. We are almost 6.20. And let us have two things, two takeaways from today's, which is for me, maybe you can take away something more. One is this angelic thing, which I mentioned. Whenever we unlock the phone today, at least five times, let's do that. And second thing, which Baba mentions, at the time of Amrit Vela, tomorrow when we sit, what we need to remember that I am an intense effort maker and also when we complete the Amrit Vela, we get up. Okay, so these two things Baba mentions which we can practically do. And uh, let's have that takeaway. Before we end, let's sit in silence and let's tell Baba that what I will be working on today, take blessings from him, from the Amshan. Vedic Vatan. And then we can close. Om Shanti, brother, I just have a question. Like uh, we being in a joint family, usually most of the time, <clears throat> most of the time the radio is on and uh, there are so many film songs and all those things coming up. So usually I am on my headphones to listen to Baba songs. But all the time you can't put your headphones and you need to be 
uh, you need to accommodate yourself in the family, right? So what I thought mm -hmm. that listening to these uh, songs also, I just imagine like yesterday there was a song, Hindi song, Baharu Phool Barsao Mera Mehbu Baya. So I was just visualizing Baba with me like that. And listening to such songs and being um, um, imagining Baba with me, it uh, made me more and more uh, to remember Baba throughout the day, like Masti Me, it was. So is this also an intense effort? I'm just, yeah. just a question. Yeah, so these are, these are like props. So just as I mentioned, the phone thing. Yeah. Uh, you can take help of the songs which you mentioned, which is being played at the ho home. Uh, so uh, when we take helps of some physical things to remind Baba, because Baba is such a um, invisible thing that it that he can get split, uh, you know, slipped off from our mind very easily. So it is very important that we find some means to remember him. It could be anything. Yeah. Maybe yeah. songs. It could be newspaper. It could be our dining table while eating food. Anything which can remind us of Baba, I think that is making us closer to him. So very, very nice technique. Even I use yeah. whenever I travel in a cab earlier, like uh, so office, we have office cab and someone would share a cab with me and they would play a song on the radio or something. So I used to do the same practice. I used to dedicate that song to Baba. Yeah. And I used to enjoy that song. I never felt that this is a Lokik song or this is uh -huh. song for, uh, uh, you know, a heroine or hero. Yes, right. You said. Yeah, even Baba took the help of those songs at the time of Sakar Murlis, if you know. We never had these Baba songs earlier, which we uh -huh. listen to. So, in fact, we have very good singers outside, Arjit Singh and also. All those songs I hear as if those form songs are dedicated to Baba. And probably that helps me getting more closer to him. Yes, yes. Yeah, it definitely helps, sister. Thank you, bye. So let us stay in silence for a minute and we'll close off. Om Shanti. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a great day. Be an angel and also spread the fragrance of angel. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. We shall meet tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m.